Hey guys, it's Dan from CryptoCamacho.com. Welcome again to my YouTube channel where every day I try to break down something new about Bitcoin, about cryptocurrency, or other altcoins. Each day, each week, I'll deliver something new to you guys. I will talk about a new tool, a new resource. I'll talk about the market and how to trade Bitcoin or, or trade other cryptocurrencies. Um, and today I wanted to talk about something pretty, pretty interesting to me. It's becoming more and more important to me. As I start to accumulate more Bitcoins, as I start to trade more Bitcoins, I become more and more interested in how I actually can spend my Bitcoins. Like, what can I actually do with Bitcoin once I have it, right? I, I, I want to accumulate as much Bitcoin as I can, but I also don't want to just leave my Bitcoin in an account or in a wallet just kind of sitting there, right? At some point, I may want to actually do something with my Bitcoin, whether that means spending my Bitcoin to buy something fancy, like a new car, like a new computer, whatever it may be. Um, or, you know, if I want to use my Bitcoin to invest in something else, I want there to be a way that I can, uh, you know, spend my Bitcoin to make my Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies more liquid, right? I hear often, you know, many people don't want to get into cryptocurrency or buy any Bitcoin because they're afraid that it's not liquid. And what that means is that you, it, it's very difficult today to actually get money, dollars, fiat currency from Bitcoin, right? You can do it in a variety of ways through Coinbase, which I've mentioned before. You can do it through other exchanges by setting up your bank account or connecting your bank account directly to an exchange or to uh, a wallet like a Coinbase. Um, but there's now starting to be other ways and other methods where you can spend your Bitcoin, right? Um, to buy things like everyday normal things, right? You could buy groceries, you could buy a computer, you could buy a car, you could buy whatever you want with Bitcoin. But that's that's often one of the complaints that I get from people around cryptocurrency is that it's not liquid. It's very hard to get or to convert that cryptocurrency back into fiat currency. And so today I want to talk about something that's making that much easier. And, and tools and products like this are starting to pop up all over the place. Um, but what I've found is you know, there, there's one tool that I've looked at among all others, or one product, I should say, among all others, and it looks like it's the best in class today. I haven't actually used it yet, and in this video, I want to actually show you uh, my process, my journey for going through and evaluating a new product right, related to cryptocurrencies. And each month, I may do it weekly, but right now, each month, I'm going to do a different experiment. I'm going to get one tool or one service, uh, you know, one resource related to cryptocurrency um, or related to Bitcoin in some way, and throughout that month or week, if I decide to make it a week, I will be testing and using that tool or that product or that service, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll, I'll be reviewing it here on my YouTube channel and on my Steemit blog and website, um, and I'll be letting you know how it goes, how it works, right? And today I wanted to take a look at a product called BitPay. So BitPay, what is BitPay? BitPay is a very interesting concept to me. It's a way that you can actually take your Bitcoin from your own personal wallet, store it on a BitPay wallet, and then in turn be able to spend that Bitcoin via a credit card, as you see here on the screen, uh, as a credit card at any store that you'd like, right? Any retailer, go to Walmart, go to Taco Bell, go to whatever store you may want to go to, right? If you're outside of the US, you may not know what Taco Bell is, you probably know what Walmart is. But um, it allows you to convert your Bitcoin into fiat currency on the fly and spend it at traditional retailers or online or anywhere you want, really. Um, and so I'm going to be testing this out. I'm going to be experimenting with BitPay over the next you know, month, maybe a couple weeks, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. And today, I really just wanted to kind of explore the site. I wanted to sign up for BitPay. I wanted to show you uh, what that process looks like um, and then go from there. So with that said, let's go. Okay, so with that said, um, what I did is I went to bitpay.com. You can probably see that up here in the URL. Bitpay.com is where you'll check this out. And you can see, turn Bitcoin into dollars and spend anywhere. The BitPay, the BitPay card lets you load dollars anywhere using a Bitcoin wallet. Get instant withdrawals from Visa, compatible ATMs, and spend any Visa merchant. Right, so anywhere that you could spend Visa, anywhere you can use your Visa credit card, you should be able to use your BitPay credit card, right? And effectively spend your Bitcoin um, from Bitcoin and convert it into fiat currency, aka dollars, on the fly with something you want to buy. So BitPay does do a few other things. If I scroll up here, right, you'll notice that BitPay allows you to accept Bitcoin as a business. If you're a business owner and you want to accept Bitcoin for your business, BitPay also allows you to do that. If you want to store your Bitcoin in a secure wallet, BitPay also has a product for that, uh, the BitPay wallet. 
and or if you want to spend your Bitcoin anywhere, you could use the BitPay card. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on today is the BitPay credit card and how you actually use that and sign up for that. So let's first scroll up to the top here and let's first sign up, right? Actually, let's uh, let's click start now uh, to sign up. So let's get started with BitPay and I want to go to a BitPay card account, get a BitPay card account and turn your Bitcoin into dollars. That's what I want. So check that. Click on sign up and I will then go to fill up my credentials. Probably take a moment here to load. Let's give it just a second. And we'll go from there and add in our credentials. Okay, now that the window has loaded here, let me go ahead and enter my information. Uh, let's see here, okay. I'm gonna do it on a different account than Crypto Camacho, but that's okay. All right, let's put in my email address, then I continue. Okay guys, so I've gotten to this point where it's now asking me if I have a Bitcoin wallet. I do have a Bitcoin wallet, so I am gonna go ahead and choose yes, I have a wallet. But let's take a quick look at this. It says you'll need 995 in Bitcoin to pay the order fee for the BitPay card. So in order to get the BitPay credit card, you'll need to pay about $10, 10 US dollars uh, in Bitcoin to actually get the credit card. So that's fine, just wanna give you a heads up on that. So I'm gonna go forward and say yes, I do have a wallet. And oh, what's this? Out of stock notice. Thanks for your interest. The BitPay card is selling fast and we're currently out of stock. If you order now, it may take an additional two weeks for your order to arrive. That's okay. It just means it'll take a little bit little bit longer for the card to, to arrive. But let's let's go forward with it anyway. I'll click continue. And okay. So now we have to apply for the card, right? So what we do to, for, to apply for the card is we add all of our information, our shipping information, first name, last name, address, so forth and so on. We'll add our identification number, and in this case, it's a social security number. Um, and so for folks outside of the U.S., uh, you will want to look and see if BitPay works for you. I'm not sure if it does. I'll look here at the end of the video. But you'll want to enter all your information here, and then your account information, right? Your email address and your phone number, and then you want to agree to the terms. Then you will go to the pay using Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin uh, step, where you'll actually pay $9.95 in Bitcoin uh, to BitPay to get your card. And then you'll go to the completion step over here. So I've actually already gone through these steps and I've ordered my BitPay card. And so I'm not gonna necessarily go through this again, but I wanted to show you that it's a very, very simple three-step process um, to order your, your BitPay card, right? So once you've done that, then you essentially sit back and you wait for your BitPay card to arrive in the mail. And while you're waiting, go ahead and keep trading, keep trying to accumulate those Bitcoins because when your card arrives, you'll be able to spend that you know, anywhere you'd like. Okay, so now that you've gone through the three steps to actually apply for a BitPay card, you've paid your $10 in Bitcoin to order the card, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home page, and you see really right here where it says card, you wanna click on card, and you'll see kind of all the information about the BitPay credit card, you'll see how it works if you'd like, you can go to see how it works, it'll take you down here. So the first step is ordering the BitPay card, then waiting in the mail. Once you get it in the mail, you'll then need to activate the card. And this is a step that I have not done yet. But I do want to show you real quick what the BitPay card looks like. So if you can see right here, this is what I got in the mail when I ordered my BitPay card, right? It's basically just a piece of paper like any other credit card, right? And attached is my BitPay credit card, right? On the back, some fancy marketing material, like you see with anything, do more with your Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. But essentially, this is what I want, right? I want this card to be able to activate. So I wanted to show you that really quickly. I did get my BitPay uh, card in the mail just a few days ago. Haven't activated it yet. Wanted to activate it on this video to show you exactly how it happens. So we're at step two, activate the BitPay card, and then we'll go through steps three and four. So let's go back up to the top here, and let's say activate card, because I already have a BitPay card. So let's go and activate it, okay? And let's go ahead and put in my card number here for one. And this may take a sec. Two, four, one, four, six, six. And then put in my CVV number, which is located on the back of the card, just like any other credit card, okay? And then uh, the expiration date. So the expiration date on this is August. Okay. 
All right, now I've got all my information in here. Let's go ahead and click next to activate this card. Let's see what happens. Check my email. Okay, let me go do that. I'm gonna go jump over to, uh, to Gmail here real quick and activate this card so you guys can all see how it works. Alrighty, and let me go ahead and jump in here. And go back to Gmail. I may cut this out in the video, but just uh, trying to get here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. <clears throat> All right. So here is the email that I get when I activate my card. Thanks for activating your BitPay card. Click below uh, to create your login credentials for your card holder account. All right. So I'm going to click finish registration and I'm going to keep going through this process to activate my BitPay credit card. All right, now it's asking me for my password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, and I'm going to create my account. And it should be done here in just a moment. Seems like it might be taking a minute. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, looks like it's going through. Okay, done. So now I can log into my account. Let's see if it works. So essentially I've activated my card and let's go see how that looks. Let me put in the right password here. Okay. And we'll log in. Looks like it's thinking for a second here. All right, boom. I have successfully created a BitPay account. I have activated my BitPay card. Now I have to go and add funds to my card itself. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and explore uh, just a moment right here. So it shows my account balance, right? And I'm guessing this is the amount of uh, Bitcoin that I have available on the card. If I go up here, we can add a second card if you wanted a second card, but we're not gonna go through that today. And it looks like you can look at activity settings, so forth and so on, but the first thing we need to do is add funds. So let's click on add funds. And let's just say we're going to add, let's say $20, 20 US dollars, right? Continue. And let's see what happens here when I try to add funds to my BitPay card. All right. So now I'm going to have to open this up in my wallet and I will do that shortly here, but I'm going to close this out. Okay. So we have successfully activated our BitPay credit card, right? I ordered this in the mail just through the method that I showed you just a moment ago. I then opened it up, I activated the card, I created a BitPay account. Now I'm at the point where I need to add funds to my BitPay card. I'll be doing this in part two of this video. So come back and, and join. I'm gonna go ahead and set up, add some funds to a wallet that I wanna use for BitPay. And after I do that, I'll come back, I'll create another video and I'll show you how to add funds to your BitPay card. And then we'll have some fun. We'll go actually spend the money on the BitPay card that I've activated. Uh, if you have any questions about this, if you'd like a further deep dive into this process and how to get a BitPay card, go ahead and visit cryptocamacho.com forward slash BitPay. And there's a lot more information there for you to follow, uh, for you to learn how to use BitPay, uh, the credit card. So anyway, again, thanks for tuning in to Crypto Camacho. I'll be back soon with another video on part two on how to add funds to my BitPay card. Thanks, guys.